Thanks so much for joining us on this mid-morning. So a rare event will occur in the skies coming up on April the 8th. Yeah, people in parts of the United States will be able to witness a total eclipse while others will see a partial eclipse. And this is all coming with an eye warning. Do not look directly at the sun. It will not be good for you or your eyes. Matter of fact, it could really damage your retinas mm -hmm. if you do so. Yeah, yeah, it will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not a good thing. So the thing is, most of the U.S. will at least get to see most of this. But here in Minnesota, we're only going to get a little, just a little glimpse. We're nowhere close to the path of totality, which actually runs from like the Texas-Mexico border all the way up to Maine, Canada. So we can get see a little bit of it, but we won't near be we won't be near that point of total totality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to do some traveling. Yeah. This was an issue last time too, because yeah. like right before, like everyone's trying to get the glasses that they need for eye protection, mm -hmm. and people. <clears throat> They put out fake glasses. It's you really need to this know is where we're at. Yes. What you're gonna get, and uh, because yeah, you don't want damage, eye damage. Yes, always gotta worry about something. It's always something going on, well, isn't it? Well, not only that, but you can't like we all have sunglasses. You yes. can't just wear a regular pair of sunglasses to look at it. There's a special type of sunglasses that you have to wear. So you may be wondering, well, what are they? Yeah. They have an ISO seal on them, and the number is one two three one two dash. Two. Now, that's probably a lot for you to remember. NASA says you can also check to see if your glasses are legit because if they, if you, if you can use them to see if they work. So, what you can do is you can look at any light source using the glasses that you have. And if they're legit glasses, you won't be able to see through those glasses, right? Or you'll be able to see something very dim. If they're fake, you can see light through mm -hmm. them. So those are glasses you do not want to mm -hmm. use. Yes, and important reminders because you can really damage your eyes yeah. without wearing the proper eyewear for this. So definitely this is, keep that in mind. Cool. This is cool, though, that people can take part in this, Joseph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Um, my sister and her family hold on, hold are right on. in the path of totality. I'm like, get the glasses now because <laughs> at the last minute, it's so hard to find them. And mm -hmm. you know, when you have kids, you want to make sure that they're protected. See, yeah. for a second, you said totally, and I thought you were doing it. Like, oh, oh, Joseph yeah, with the fun so there. Totally. <laughs> totality. <laughs> Yeah. But you can watch them as watch it as well without the glasses. So right? some makeshift ways. There's some, some makeshift, makeshift ways. ways. Like yeah. you gotta like turn into like Mr. and Mrs. Science if you want to do this. We need our kitchen pantry scientists yeah. to Liz <laughs> to show us how you can do this. Yeah. Apparently, there's a thing called a pinhole projector that you can make. So you use yeah. a box. You need some white paper, some aluminum foil, and some tape. So then you have to have to put the box over your head with one of these, and you've got like a little hole that you can look at. So you can do it. That's one way you can do yeah. it. Yeah. Or you can use a kitchen colander, which is everyone has one of those in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, so it's an ordinary kitchen colander. You can use that to use a solar eclipse, but you actually have to put, make sure the sun is behind you. That way you can actually reflect it and see it behind you. So yeah, you yeah so there's some tips and tricks. I'm sure a lot of you have made these before, but it's probably been like forever well, been years, ago right? in school or yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. So just make sure you study up on it and do it you know the right way because it is a little tricky.